What'd you have on? I put a minnow on. Minnow? There it goes. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. That's got to be, that's something quick. There ain't no perch. Oh. Cross the other line. Bass? Pike. Yeah, Pike. If I can get, okay, there we go. So that helps. Just a single hook should, there you go. Little guy. Nice slow action. Oh yeah, that's all he's good for. Oh yeah, sh dogger. All right. Woo! Walleye. Is it walleye? White tip. There you go. White tip. White tip. Yeah, you're right. I don't know, it's some speckles, no speckles. Yeah, I think the speckles are more the. Well, it's got to be 15, and I know that's yeah. not. That's on 15. It's a start though. There we go. Is he still on? Uh, don't look. Gotta find some big old perch or something. Yeah. Something we'd something we'd keep. Little guy. See if it's gonna be different between a bass or a pike. Let's see. If we can switch up here. Some head shake. Perch looks wide. Bass. Oh, maybe. The bass over there, it's just like. Oh, yep. Yeah, a little slow, I think. Yeah. A little cold. Pike, largemouth. Oh, shit, I got. I just sank it on the bottom. <laughs> Ah. Did he strip? Oh yeah, that. Look at this. He he screwed that thing up with that pike or a walleye. Damn it! That one's done. All right, back on the water. It's uh 12:30. Uh, it's getting nicer, and nicer out today. Probably close to 60 now. Uh, I think it's gonna get up to about 60, 65 today. Uh, gonna do gonna do some casting. The uh, on the backwaters of the Mississippi. We were fishing earlier right on the Mississippi. Um, my dad got, what did he get? Two bass, two pike. I ended up with a walleye. Uh, nothing really of size. Everything was pretty much small. Probably get back out this afternoon. But I uh, figured I'd get out on the kayak for a little bit and uh, see if I can find some, find some nice bass, a little bit bigger, and uh, some pike to uh, do some casting with the old uh, prototype crankbait. So, see what we can do. Oh boy.
Woo! All right, I know you guys ain't gonna see me. Let's get this set up here. All right, well, it's uh, five to 10. Stayed out longer than I expected. Ended up catching these, I don't know, like rock bass, kind of panfish thing in the beginning. I'm like, what's going on here? I caught like two of those, and then I caught a, a wall, a small walleye, then a, a decent bigger walleye, actually. That one was halfway decent. I almost should have measured it. And then uh, another walleye. And it slowed down for a while. Really slowed down. I'm trying to think, what did I catch next? Um, I think it's about when it started getting dark. And then I switched the crankbait. I casted like one time and I, I was bringing it in close to shore and something schwacked it. And I'm like, holy crap. And I'm bringing it in, bringing it in. It's like on the rocks, dangling in, and it flops off. I just, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I thought for sure, I'm like, there you go. There, there was my chance. There was my keeper walleye and I screwed it up. Like that's what it was like, I, you know, and I was, I was just like so pissed, but I uh, just kept on casting, kept on casting, and uh, like I was getting bumps here and there, like something. I don't know if it's because it's nighttime or just they're more fishing by uh, the sound or vibration, but I was getting like taps once in a while, and I know they weren't rocks. And uh, ended up getting another fish on. I'm like, all right, here we go, walleye, come on. <laughs> End up being a large amount of bass. I couldn't believe it. Uh, got a few pictures of that. I don't think I got the camera on for that one. And uh, kept casting. I'm like, all right, my walleye. There's a walleye out there. There's a keeper one somewhere. Casting and casting and casting. Latch up with something else. This time it was different. It was a lot bigger. I'm like, oh. Holy crap, it was it was really tugging. It actually took out some drag on my bait caster. I got that thing pretty taut with a 50, 15 pound test and uh, it did. It took out a little bit of drag. I'm just like, what in the hell is this thing? I'm like, okay, pike or what? Um, and then I seen it, it had like this round shape to it. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, I don't think it's a walleye. You know, unless it's like a 10 pound bass or something, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, I get get it to shore, giant, big old sheep's head, big old thing. Um, I don't know, I don't know how big they get, but I that was a pretty, that was probably the biggest sheep's head I have ever caught. That thing was pretty good. I mean, I that thing's that had to be, I don't know, at least six or seven pounds. About a guess, and uh, <laughs> after that, did a little more casting, and I'm like, you know what? Just I think I'm gonna call it, call it a night. Uh, had a little action. I redeemed myself from that one that fell, that fell off that shoreline. I was pretty upset about that one, but I ended up getting a bass <laughs> and a sheep set after that. Not really the walleye I was looking for, but it was still a fun time had some good action and uh, we still have tomorrow to get out so uh, one more night up here uh, you bet your ass I'll be back down there tomorrow and uh, I will be putting a little bit more time in